I thought I saw you back there. Welcome once again to the Mask Fanatic, Mask Fanatics. It's time to take another look at an interesting old Halloween mask. Not as old as some of them. Tonight's interesting mask is none other than Michael J. Fox as Teen Wolf from the movie Teen Wolf. That's right, a movie that came out in 1985 and was very popular. So popular it spawned a sequel, Teen Wolf 2, that was not at all good, and a Saturday morning animated cartoon series, which um, I, I can't say whether it was any good or not because I never watched it. However, the movie was fun. It was a decent little, uh, just a silly, uh, frothy, goofy summertime movie about a werewolf. And Michael J. Fox plays the nice guy, uh, high school kid who finds out he's a werewolf that looks like this. Now, this would have been part of the Don Post Studios 2012 lineup, okay? Uh, but as uh, you Don Post historians will know, all the, uh, the Don Post masks that would have come out in 2012 never really made it into production because beyond a few prototypes, uh, there was no time to make any more of them because uh, Don Post Studios was bought out by a bigger company and officially closed its doors in 2012. But had the company uh, stayed around, this would have been one of the masks uh, the officially licensed Teen Wolf mask. And uh, I don't know how many of these were made, but everybody seems to think it's only in the single digits. I'm, I'm aware of only one finished prototype that had hair. Uh, this is not it. This is another copy that I'm aware of that is a painted copy that did not have hair, which was haired by uh, Laura, my wife, Laura Lady. And I got a good deal on this one. I got this one. It was a steal on eBay, uh, probably because uh, people don't like to hair their own masks, and they don't know how to hair their own masks, and they don't want to buy a mask that has to be haired. So uh, the people who sold off everything from Don Post Studios, that is to say the new owners who bought all that stuff, uh, just sold everything on eBay, and among that stuff there was a painted prototype without hair of the Teen Wolf mask, and I ended up with it. I believe the prototype mask, which actually traveled to MaskFest in 2012, but didn't get shown to people, because right at the time MaskFest 2012 was beginning, uh, that's when Dompo Studios' closure was announced. Now, I was in favor of going ahead and putting those uh, uh, prototypes out just for people to see, just for purposes of coolness, in the, in the art, art history kind of uh, uh, um, area, you know, just, just for that reason. But no, Don Post, I think, would have preferred not, it turned out, preferred not to have people see the masks that would have been made, so nobody really saw it. So there was that one, which I believe, the prototype with the hair, which I believe ended up at the, the clutches of none other than Nathan Hanneman, one of the head guys of Horror Hound Magazine and Horror Hound Weekend uh, conventions, of which Mask Fest 2012 was a part. I think Nathan got that original prototype with the hair. Other than this and uh, another one that wasn't painted at all, I haven't seen any and nobody else seems to have one so they're pretty scarce. But you never know, maybe there's a box of them somewhere that'll turn up and they'll be on eBay and they'll be affordable and you can score one because it's a pretty cool mask. Now if you're thinking this hair work looks kind of unrealistic and kind of, uh, oh you know, kind of, uh, well, phony for a better word, for want of a better word. You're right, because the hair in the movie was not really beautifully applied, and it looked very much like this. So these, these cheek streaks that he has here, that's pretty accurate to the film. That's not Laura uh, getting in a hurry and just trying to throw some hair on it. That's actually pretty movie accurate right there. Uh, the one that I saw at Mask Fest that had the hair on it was a little darker. The hair was a little darker, that is, than this one, but the paint was the same. So anyway, uh, just an average average thickness mask and uh, decent paint job, adequate if unexceptional. Overall, would have been a great mask and I think every collector would have wanted one and it's, it's very sad that it never went into production and uh, most people never got a chance to get one. So, like I said, keep looking online and keep um, think positive, keep a positive outlook, focus on the positive. Maybe someday a box of these will turn up and everybody can can find one, but uh, at the moment it's extremely scarce because, uh, again, only a couple of prototypes are known to exist, and one of them has hair by Laura Lady stuck on it right here, and you're looking at it in the Mask Fan Attic. That's about all I have to say about it. Go watch Teen Wolf. Uh, don't bother with uh, the, the uh, sequel, and if you like the cartoon, let me know because I never watched it. That's it from us. Good night.